Hey yo everyone, this is the Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another Let's Play for Grandia 3. Seriously, there's a volume 5? When the Guardians scattered the various regions, Griff felt left a map to the Holy Land and returned to the first realm. Would that Holy Land be equipped by any chance? Yes, the survivor's plan seeks to restore the ruined world while on their journey to a crypt. On the way, they found each guardian again. Some people decided to stay and watch over them and start settlements. After many generations, they found the crypt and built a, built a temple. And the world was green again. That's all for Volume 5. Volume 6, the finale. After an arduous journey, the people finally made it to a crypt. It was that there that grip appeared to them once again. From then on, the people would protect the holy land and the communicator would relay the guardian's words to them. In closing, no matter how long the journey is, keep it the faith and press on to get the better things. The end. Guardians and evil being. Communicators and priests. I wonder how much of that really happened. I'm not sure, but the temple is here. It also grew up in the line of communicators, including my brother and I exist. I believe it all happened as written. After all, that makes it more exciting, right? Sure, but mythical writings aren't historical books. They can tell us a, a lot about culture, though. Researching the first realm. As seen in the lit their literature, people in the first realm are sig scientifically superior to us in countless ways. Their na natural wings endow them to the with the ability to fly among the clouds. Some of them even reside in the sky. There th definitely wasn't anyone flying around. I wonder if that lifeless world what we saw was really the first realm. <coughs> a day in the life of a priest. The priesthood must be a really strict way of life. Rise at 4 a.m., brush teeth, wash face, I'll offer a morning prayer to group. Ouch, there's, that's pretty early. Alright, looks like I'm not cut out to be a priest. At 6 a.m., offer a prayer before eating breakfast. Another prayer, sounds like I, I'd starve to death, death on this schedule. 8 a.m., go to the cathedral and listen to the bishop's lecture for 3 hours. I can't even be lectured by Miranda for 5 minutes without going nuts. This doesn't look like the life for me. Where's love found? Sounds like a romance novel. Hey, there's something that is stuck between the pages. A letter? Dear Derek, I read your letter, but the bishop has already betrothed me to someone else. This is how a communicator must live. As, you, as you're as you a priest, I know you can understand. I hope we can continue to be the best of friends. That is the way it should always be. Poor Derek. Wait a minute, there's another letter here. This must be Michelle's final letter. Derek, I can't do, do it. I, can't, I just can't live without you. I know I don't need to write this, I'm going to be strong and tell you in person. But I'll leave this letter behind as proof of my rebellion and also a reminder to never again betray my true feelings. Michelle de Pamela. Yes, it looks like a happy ending after all. I mean, communicator or not, it should, shouldn't really matter. Oh man. Way to go Michelle and Derek. I'm tempted to br break that urn, but then again, it, it might be so, a grandparent's a ashes in there. Crypt Temple Bedroom. Fuck. Draw my chopstick. Oh well. Always use a fork.
I mean, sure, shot the second bedroom, but oh well. Grandpa! Now, that's a name I've not heard in a long time. That golden hair. Could it be? Yeah. It's me, Alfina. I've only just returned. Oh my. When you left, you barely came up to my waist. Oh, Grandpa. Grandpa? Um... I mean, your holiness. The reason I came here is that I will be taking over my for my brother. I will speak with Griff. Excellent, my child. But the ceremony is tomorrow. Perhaps we should postpone. No, the ceremony will go on as planned. Please let me do this. Alfina. Are you sure? Yes, please. Hmm. Very well, now a room shall be prepared for you. Please try and relax tonight. Thank you. But well, first, I have a favor to ask. Hmm? By all means, ask. Could you show me the room my brother used to use while he was here? Emilia's room? Of course. I'd be glad to. I'll have the door open. You remember where it is. Go up to the east stairway, and it's on the first on your right. Yeah, I know this is not the way to the room. Waiting room. Kind nun. Communicator's room. It's a diary. From when my brother was little. Alfina. Yes? Just then, I heard a branch breaking behind me. I slowly turned around to see a, a fawn with a big round eyes looking at me. It looked very frightened. What is it? Continue, Emilius. Why was I chosen to be a communicator? That was determined a long, long. That was determined long, long ago. People call it fate. So it was the guardians who chose my fate. 
That's right. As long as the Guardians exist, you are fated to, their, to be their communicator. Even if I don't want to be a communicator. He just looked at me with those cold eyes of his and didn't say a thing. But I knew there was an invisible power keeping me here. Why couldn't I have wings? It'd be free like the birds. Dot 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 dot. Emilius. Dot dot dot. I never knew he... Dot dot dot. Alfina. Dot dot dot. You should get some rest. You've been through a lot. The storage lock, what's on the other side, the viewing room, you'll be watching from there on the day of the ceremony. Restricted area. Nothing special about this room. Uh, read, read the diary some more. How could Amelia think such things about the Guardians, Alfina? Let's go, Alfina. You got a ceremony tomorrow. Maybe you better call it a day, huh?
Your room has been prepared, sir. Are you ready to retire? Yes, it's about that time. The ceremony will start early tomorrow. If you want to see more of the temple, I suggest you do it today. Really, wait a minute. I understand. Please, make yourself at home. Yeah, I should say save a game in just in case. Because there's going to be a lot of cutscenes playing. Oh, here we go. Just recover anyway, just in case. Yeah, I say, save a little too frequently here. Yeah, I'm just one of, one of those save-a-holic players. Allow me to show you do your rooms. This is Yuki's and that is Miss Alfina's hut. I hope they are satisfactory. Wait a moment. Why are Yuki and I in separate rooms? What? Well, er, that is, you see, put us in the same room. Yuki and I are, still have a lot to talk about. Alfina, can't we just talk tomorrow? It has to be today. Please, Miss Alfina. You've no idea what the bishop would do to me if I allowed something like that. I'm sorry for being selfish. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, to be continued, baby.